All right, good morning. Good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube, Pastor Dow here. Well, we're about eight days out from the selection process and um, gag orders are being put out on the American public to not talk about certain things that are going on in the world. Um, the news media, and mind you, I don't have a dog in this race concerning um, who I'm favorable for one way or the other. But I can say this, I watched the presidential debate. I watched the biases or the biasness of the uh, networks. I really truly have. Um, I understand why a lot of people are upset with Donald Trump in certain policies and things he implements and rightfully so. Uh, and mainly concerning, you know, the, the gray area concerning racism. And also on the, on the flip side, the Democrats, extreme racist. Um, I'm still kind of upset a little bit that there's never, ever, ever a libertarian that is invited to the debates for these people to talk. But you notice the one thing I never heard come up at all, and it was a big stink about it. Ever since Donald Trump been in office was his collusion with Russia. I never heard Joe Biden and them bring it up. I never heard the news media bring it up, not during the debates. I never heard them, not one bit. You would have thought, as much as they inflated that, that Trump would, had been in the collusion with Russell with all the investigations and everything else. Come to find out that Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, is the one who's been in deals and collusion with Russell. And Biden himself has been involved. You know what that's called? That's called the old, let me point the finger at you. Let me get everybody to look at your direction and start looking at you sideways while I am the real true culprit. Well, I, I do know this. I do know that the Democrats are 100% trying to seek by executive order to restrict the Second Amendment rights of the citizens of the United States of America. And, and for that and that alone is one reason why I cannot be on any side or any way or any shape, fashion, or form with the Democrats whatsoever at all. Um, every time I turn around, they get caught in a lie. Every time I turn around, and I'm telling you, my, my main thing is and everybody has their own pet peeve. Mine is the constant barrage and attack on the Second Amendment. And this beta roar, I guarantee you, if Biden get in, you're going to see every extreme liberal in the world on his cabinet. But I think the scary thing about all this is this. It's obvious that there's something going on bad with these Democratic leaders. You look at Hillary Clinton when she was running for office and how she was falling all over the place and, and, and doing this, this. What's that guy on that, on that, um, um, that computer guy? When we grew up, he used to be a computer guy. He used to click like this. Kick, 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 kick. Max Headroom. Max Headroom. Max Headroom. Kick, 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 kick. Hillary Clinton doing this. Now, Joe Biden is doing back Max Headroom. Kick, 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 kick. During the debate, y'all didn't see him? Kick, 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 kick. Gadget. And it's, it's like it's a malfunction going on with the gadgets or something. Kick, 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 kick. That's what's going on. I'm telling you, something ain't right. But you think about this for a second. Joe Biden has clearly told the whole entire world, especially Americans, you don't need no assault rifles. Beta Rourke said, hell yes, I'm coming after your AR-15, your assault weapon, your AK, I'm, isn't there something? I would, I'm gonna, they're gonna follow the law. And then you know what else he said? He said, along with Senator downtown Willie Brown, Kamala Harris, you know, you know what she, he said? He says, yeah, we're going to send people door to door to confiscate your guns. We hope that you would follow the law because they're hoping to change the law. Now, I'm telling you right now, that would be the biggest mistake that America could ever make in the history of mankind is to send some people with badges and guns door to door. You want to see the American public band together and the biggest militias you ever seen in your life, 
Let them try to come door to door and take away American guns, especially in the South. The other day I had somebody ask me the question because they came during the feast from up north. They said, Pastor, why are the deer so big up north and they're small in the South? I said, you really got to ask that question. I said, the answer is clear. The Southerners are a bunch of gun bunnies. If it's moving, they shooting it. Up north, they ain't as many as y'all that practice the sport of hunting. <clears throat> Down here, I tell them, my deer are getting smaller every year, ain't they? Yes, sir. They are sincerely getting smaller every single year. Um, and I can remember even the few deer that I've killed. I killed some big deer. But man, I tell you what, man, they're getting extremely, extremely small. Extremely small. That's because the high, you know, food prices and stuff, people are no longer uh, turning in deer to taxidermy or anything. Else. They're keeping it for their own refrigerators. That's right. But up north, man, the reason why the deer and the mooses and the antelopes and, the, and the, uh, I mean, the elk and all of them are so dang big up there in y'all area, in y'all neck of the woods, because there ain't too many people hunting. Down in the south, man, people cling to their guns like they cling to their Bibles, like they cling to their wives. They are very serious about guns. All of us are in the south. And you start talking about, now first of all, I can't even imagine people in government um, jobs even obeying an unlawful order like that, I don't care what the law says, that you're going to go door to door and you're going to take away um, American citizens' guns. Man, I, that, that you know what? That is so arrogant and bold. This Beta Rock guy, the coward that he is, it reminds me of something. He's the type of person that he don't mind being in the Senate, being protected by guns and everything else. I, I think he's in the House, one or the other. He don't mind being in, in one of those selected um, officials, places and stuff. But I tell you what, he don't mind being protected by guns. But man, if he was on the street in a gunfight pursued or something like that, and that's what he's saying. Or if there was somebody, if there was, let's just say there was a foreign entity that came on his soil and stuff. And, and this mob is coming to their house. Man, I guarantee you he'd be looking for a neighbor that know how to defend, that know how to shoot. Why he's too busy trying to ride a pen. Yeah, hey, hey, look, 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 the communists are here. They're trying to kill me. Can you send somebody to come in and protect me? So th those cowards right there are always looking for somebody to protect them. But there's no way in hell. And guess what the word out on the street is? If you're black, you, you, you better vote vote for Joe Biden. You ain't got no choice. I'm like, wow. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Joe Biden, if y'all look at his record, and let's just do an honest assessment. Everybody look at his record. Alright? And I'm telling you, my offense is the Second Amendment. But if you look at his record, he has never, ever, ever been for melanated people. Matter of fact, he would, Hillary Clinton in the 90s was calling black people super predators. Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, through Joe Biden's policies, was locking up disproportionately black people in California and proud to do it. You know why? She is from India, trying to play black. She ain't black. She's from India. Oh, boy. Anyway, and I just heard on Fox News, they asked uh, Donald Trump, they said, hey, President Trump, Who's the greatest enemy of America right now? You know what he said? China. You know the main reason? Because of this virus they got out. You know, when I was in the military, they had chemical warfare, biological warfare. They had nerve agents. They had all, all different types of gas and everything else. Now, people are using viruses. I remember the Europeans used to do that down in Africa and stuff when they came down there. They used to, I remember them doing that also over here in America when the Europeans came over here. I remember they had blankets laced with polio and they would give it to the indigenous people of the land over here, the Indians, and wiped out whole populations. Matter of fact, I think that's what wiped out the Incas. 
as well, as well as the Mayans. Because remember, these were thriving civilizations, even though they were civilization of devil worshipers, but all of a sudden, they are gone, just into no existence. Only thing is left is the buildings and the statues. Yeah, back then, it was called chemical biological warfare. Now they're using viruses as warfare. Well, there's one thing, with all the viruses that's going on, if you ever got it, guess what? You're immune to it. So now, guess what? You don't have to worry about being inoculated or having a shot or getting, what do they call them things? What do they call them things, Carol? When you get immunity shots. Yeah, immunity. Anyway, but it, it's, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. The dog and pony show is getting ready to take place. Get your popcorn, watch, see what happens. But I am, I mean, you literally got to be blind in one eye. Can't see out the other to see how that the, the networks, CBS, NBC, MSNBC, CNN, uh, Joe Madison on Sirius XM. I'm, man, to me personally, I think that if black people vote for Joe Biden, you're some of the most stupid, idiotic people you've ever seen in your life, especially with Kamala Harris on the ticket. I mean, look at the history of KKK Democrats. It just don't make any sense. Well, what about you, Pastor? I don't even know if I'm even voting. Matter of fact, I probably ain't going. I'm too busy to vote. It makes no difference anyway. Um, you may think your vote count. That's what everybody says. But remember, everything works on electoral college. Yep. And then you got these, um, uh, what's the name of these people? Super, uh, super PACs. You got these dang super PACs and stuff, and you've got these super delegates. They're the ones who determine the outcome of elections. And don't tell me they determine the outcome of elections based on the amount of people that voted either Democrat or Republican or Libertarian or whatever the hell they voted. And then they take the, um, the average from that, and then whatever the, uh, the super PACs or the super delegates vote, then, then they determine the electoral college. From there, ends up determining who's going to be president. Because I remember somebody, some time ago, winning the popular vote. Yet they lost the election. Al Gore. Al Gore. Sure did. Got more votes than Bush. But he did not win enough delegates from the Electoral College. That's the voting system for you. Now, if anything needs to be revamped, is that. You see, because see, back then, when that voting system was put into play, people traveled by horse and buggy. Now we on airplanes, ships automobiles. We can drive from one end of this United States to the next in three days if you want to. You can start in Washington, D.C. and end up in Fresno, California or L.A. if you want to in three days of driving. And could you imagine how long it would have took you by horse and buggy to get from D.C. to Fresno or California? Man, you're talking about months. Months. I personally think we all need to be looking into getting some grenade launchers. What about you?